Mark, every law firm says they put the client first. How do you do that at Herbert Smith Freehills? Oh, one, it's one of the things we think about a lot. Uh, we try and put the client first by obsessing about their needs and our level of service to them. And I remember one client came into the office here in London as part of our Outside Inside series and said something really, really telling. Uh, they said, I might not remember what you provided to me, but I'll remember the way you made me feel. And what that taught us was our client service is not just about excellence and excellent legal advice, it's also about empathy and about making sure the client feels that they've got value from the service, that their interests are being looked after, that they're in safe hands. Uh, the way we go about trying to deliver that sort of outcome, excellence plus empathy, for the client is to make sure we ask lots of questions, uh, to not make assumptions, to listen to what they say when they answer those questions, and then to do something about it. And to what extent the client sometimes is looking for advice from you, but the way you're talking, Mark, they're also looking for um, simply ideas. You know, how is the world working? Yep. There is no doubt the role for lawyers has expanded over the years, and it is not limited to delivery of the precise legal solution. Clients want a range of different things, and working that out is, is important. Uh, but it includes reassurance sometimes. Sometimes there can be a crisis. You know, what do we do first? There's all these things we have to do. Commercial insight. What have you seen last time? What is the market sort of expecting around this sort of issue? So you're right, there's, a, um, there's actually a, a veritable smorgasbord of things that we bring to clients. I think part of the, the, the culture that we are trying to build here, a client service culture, is one which would act, would actually says, let's understand what you need so we can suggest what you take off the smorgasbord. And every client is slightly different, so actually not treating it as a one-size-fits-all solution for a client, but you know, actually listening to what they have to say. Mark, when you're asking those questions, is it a bit like a doctor diagnosing a problem? Mm, very much like a, a doctor. Uh, and I guess like a doctor too, sometimes it'll be a few questions and you'll get to the outcome quickly. Other times it might be a very deep level of questioning and uh, there may even be a, a, a sense of co-creating the answer with the client and, and being on that voyage of discovery together. This lesson was really brought home to me. I was acting for a foreign client which was doing a refinancing and I was really focused on the deal terms, on trying to get the best deal terms for the client. Foreign client back in New York had a completely different perspective. Their imperative was speed. It was timing, timing over terms. Um, and I didn't pick it up until well into, into the transaction. Had a slightly cranky client, I'm thinking, I'm doing a good job for you, I'm looking after your interests, and they're saying, well, actually, we want something different. And the lesson for me, uh, and the moral of the story, is ask before you act. When you've done the asking and you take the problem back to base, how do you make sure that the client is still in the room as you're working through something with, with colleagues? It's a, it's, a, it's a really good question and it's a constant challenge. Uh, the way that we are starting to do it is to keep testing ourselves. Is what we're doing going to make the client's life better? And the, way, the analogy I like to use, it's like walking into a coffee shop. Um, usually someone asks you what sort of coffee you want and sometimes it's herbal tea. Uh, could be different things. So for us it's a constant process of picking up the clues sometimes 
and sometimes having very direct conversations and, and asking the question. And I remember in my career I was involved with a, a very complicated joint venture in the energy sector and there was some conflict and some real anger uh, in, the, in the client, in the joint venture. We couldn't quite put our finger on it. Was, where was it coming from? And it reached such a point I just said, I'm getting on the plane and I flew to Perth where it was and we had a meeting and it sort of dawned on me that in fact this joint venture was made up of people who commercially competed with one another um, and actually just understanding that dynamic and saying, right, okay, everyone wants a slightly different form of coffee. We're delivering one form of coffee into a group which um, actually has a whole lot of different history and different sort of relationships between them. Talk a bit about scale, Mark. Herbert Smith Freehills is a global business now. How do you make sure that you're servicing the client as best you can at the local level? Part of the solution is actually, actually asking our clients, how can we do better, off, better on this? How can we bring the best of the global firm to bear on their issues, but make sure we're locally relevant? Think global, act local, be global, all of those terms, all of which are actually phrases from our clients. So with the, so with the, the new recruits in, in mind, Mark, if, if you could tell them one thing that would stand them in good stead for their career um, at Herbert Smith Freehills now, what would it be? Boy, bringing it down to one is really hard. Can, I'd probably go for two, two, two. if I may. Um, uh, thank you for the indulgence. The two things for me would be is focus on external markets. Uh, the world our clients live in is not the law firm world, it's the real world. So understand what's going on out there. Uh, the second thing is remember our clients are people. Uh, they're not faceless institutions, they're people just like you and me, the person next to you. And actually understanding that allows you to connect with them at a human level and actually start to understand what's important to them. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much.